This is a unique video to the poker guys. We've never done anything like this before. No, no. And it is all born of our arrogance. Really. <laughs> See, we always think we're right. And you know what? We've been wrong in the past, and we've admitted we were wrong when yeah. somebody makes a good point. About two weeks ago, we did a video with Sam Trickett and Jason Mercier where Sam makes a bet on the river and we were 100%, 130%, which I hate even saying that because it's not a real thing, sure that Sam Trickett was value betting the river. I mean, he had to have He been, had right? to be value betting the river. And then everybody in the comments said, you guys are totally wrong. We came back on the podcast at least next week and said, no, we are sticking to this one. Yeah. He was value betting. It was not a bluff. Then, a couple days ago, we, the hammer kind of came down here, and we were crushed. Our arrogance was destroyed because Sam Trickett himself tweeted at us and told us the truth. And we're going to share with you Sam Trickett's yeah. tweets right now. I will say this, pride cometh before the fall. <laughs> All right, Sam Trickett first said, hey, just watched your breakdown of the hand I played versus Jason. I am sorry. That was nice of him to yeah. say that. But you got this all wrong. I was bluffing the river. I would never value bet queen eight there, especially when the nine hits the river as it's too hard to get called by worse. Hey, we thought it was a thin bet. Yeah, but, we but, thought maybe it yeah. was even a bad value bet. Yeah. But we didn't think it was a bluff. Yeah, we really, So really, we really. started talking to Sam. We wanted to get a little bit more info here. Yeah, so actually Grant wrote to him and said, uh, that's too bad. We were really adamant about that. We're going to have to eat some crow now. And he said, yeah, that's why I had to say something. Like, yeah. We were so strong. He's being super nice about it, by oh, the way. Sam's so nice friendly. Yeah. So friendly. And in fairness, we've had other pros, like well-named pros like Daniel Negreanu, Vanessa Selps, Doyle Brunson, tweeted us, talk about what we've had to say. We've never really had anyone come to us and say, you were wrong about the hand that I just played. Well, you, and this is a polarized that. spot. You can either be wrong or right, right? And just to give an example of how, <laughs> okay. how wrong we were, check out what some, some of the stuff we said. There are people... There are lots of people even who somehow think that this is a bluff by Sam Trickett, but we say, nay, it is not a bluff. It is a value bet. <laughs> are you getting a little upset there? I don't know. I don't you think can't it... handle the truth, Internet. Well, here is the <laughs> truth. The reason people might think this is a bluff is because Sam has the worst hand and he's betting. Yeah. So a good result for him would be Jason folding. That's not really the definition of a bluff. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, pretty good. We sound pretty sure of ourselves, don't we? I mean, here's why I thought so sure that Sam had to be value betting. Because if he was bluffing, he'd be targeting basically only pocket aces and ace-queen. It seems so thin. I didn't even know if Jason would really have ace-queen there because right. Richard Young had originally opened and he's super tight. And we were right about that. He could really only be targeting those hands. That's all that makes sense if he's bluffing. And that just seemed like too thin of a thing for us. Yeah. But I guess we were wrong. Sam well, Trickett is hyper elite. Well, uh, also, Grant actually asked him directly, what were you targeting on your bluff? And he said aces and ace-queen specifically. I figured he folds jacks and tens on the turn as he blocks the floats, which is an extra thing. We never talked about blocking the floats. Right. We thought he was betting 15K actually to get value out of those hands. But Sam was, I guess, just on top of it. These guys know each other so well, have played so much together. Man, and also, they're the two of the very, very best players they're in the world. Amazing, they might be yeah. both top 10 tournament players in the world. Yeah. Like, that's possible. Wow. Jason, incredible. especially right now, considering his World Series run that he's on right now. Right. But but that said, they probably, you know, whatever Jason was like three months ago and now, I know he's on a run, but they're probably where they are, which yeah. is top 15, maybe top 10 players in the world playing against each other. I give us a little bit of a break for being wrong. It'd be nice if we weren't so arrogant about it. <laughs> anyway, internet, <laughs> internet, you were right. We're sorry, internet. The poker guys, we were wrong. We were finally wrong. It was the first time no, ever. No, it's not. No, it's not. We've been wrong before, and we're, we'll be wrong again. But we've, we, we're so, when we're right, we're happy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. thanks for listening. We just wanted to get that off our chest, let yeah. you guys know that we know that you guys were right, and we were wrong. And you know what? We're going to keep giving our opinions as arrogantly as we do because <laughs> that's just how we do it. We can't yeah. help ourselves. Um, we believe we had some good thought processes. Sure. But it's great to hear from Sam, honestly. Even though we were wrong, it's really cool that a guy like Sam would reach out and tell us exactly what was going on. Absolutely. Sam did say, by the way, he totally understood our thought process. Yeah. Which was nice, but also we were wrong.